Exactly. How low is our inventory? The August stats are in, and the answers may shock you. Hi, I'm Shelby Strickland with Shelby Strickland Team, Remax Alliance. Once again, our average days on market has flip-flopped from 13 in June to 10 in July, and now back to 13 in August. In case you're not familiar, that means it took an average of 13 days for listed homes to get under contract. This data points to a continuance of our strong seller's market. We are seeing a little softening though with home selling in several days instead of just a few hours. You won't believe this either. The average sales price is up again. We just recently broke the 300,000 mark and now in August we closed out with an average of $330,000 in the Huntsville Madison County area. We've all heard that our current market is due to low inventory. It's left me thinking, what exactly does that mean? My assumption has been that fewer people are selling due to the pandemic and maybe some other factors. So I've been thinking that the low inventory was created by a lack of homes being listed. For the last few years, the available inventory has decreased dramatically each year. In August of 2018, there were about 1,600 homes available for sale. In August of 2021, there were about 620 homes available for sale. That's 1,000 homes less in 2021 versus 2018. Then I looked at the number of homes listed. What's interesting is while the available homes numbers plummeted, the new listings each year have actually increased. In 2018, for a rolling 12 months in August, there were about 8,000 new listings. And in 2021, there were 9,000 new listings. Stay with me now. So there were more new listings, but less available homes to buy. Ugh, this makes my brain hurt. So what the heck does all this mean? There are many factors that have contributed, but simply put, the demand for homes has increased. Locally, I don't think it's a coincidence that during the same time period, Huntsville became the most populated city in Alabama. According to a recent news article, Huntsville's population has jumped up 19% since 2010. However, as my dear husband pointed out, this is nationwide though. So I researched further. Nicole Friedman of the Wall Street Journal explains that the housing crisis can be explained by a 20-year-old supply and demand problem. Between 1968 and 2000, the U.S. built an average of about 1.5 million new housing units each year. In the last 20 years, though, the country has only added 1.225 million new housing units each year, partly due to the Great Recession from 2007 to 2009. We are now 6.8 million units short of what is needed to meet the new housing needs. So between all of that and now material delays and labor shortages, it really is the perfect storm. So no wonder we have low inventory. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information valuable. If we can answer any questions or get you any further information, please just let us know. We are always happy to help.